We were reading Charlotte's Web in December of 1972, and I happened to notice when I was at home an article in the Sacramento Bee which talked about a pig who lived in Fireball, California. I took it to the children and asked them, would you like to do something with this? And they could not believe that this pig lived had in a house, had a bedroom, had a bank account, that any of this was real. There were a lot of things in there that they didn't approve of. They didn't think that a pig should be eating donuts and whole chickens. They didn't understand. So I said, well, write your questions down. They did. I transcribed them onto a piece of paper. They all came in and signed, and we sent it off to Fireball, California, to someone named Mickey Bacciabella, who was in the article, and we hoped we'd hear back. And the first thing that happened was we got four pages of that yellow legal paper with the answers to every single question in detail, plus uh, about 12 pictures of the pig on his birthday, eating cake in the rain, with a raincoat in his bedroom, with a friend, all kinds of pictures, and the children were just over the moon. They could not believe that this pig had written them a letter, and that was the start of the magic. And pretty soon I was noticing just subtle changes in that class. First of all, the behavior, because they were so eager, I'd say, well, if we can get through this work and this work, then after lunch we'll sit down and talk about Arnold, and I've got a letter for you to read. Children felt the magic, and it just changed the children and changed that year. I would say it made three years of difference in those children's lives because they grew so much and they had so much compassion and love, understanding and believing in themselves. And that's when I decided that maybe a book needed to be written. I printed up more than, but at least 32 copies. Three of the children who are now adults called me or got in touch with me by email and I sent those books off right away to them. And they're also helping me look for the children. So my hope is to find as many of them as can. My name is Lynn Gordon. I was a teacher at Kingswood School in San Juan Unified School District. I had a really special experience there and recently I wrote a book about this experience. And this is my SJ story.